He will bat second, then Mookie Bench in the three spot. Justin Turner, Corey's season. He debuted. Turner hits this one in the air to center field. It's carrying. Going back is Slater. And it. I think it's in his glove. No, it's on. Oh, it's run. gone. And strike three. Well, Jackson with his first strikeout. One down in the top. Outside ball four. There goes Betts, and he is in with a head first slide. Well, that right there tells you it's feeling fine. Pitches so far. High and outside, back to back walks. So the plan not going according to. And then, of course, watch the Dodgers win. Runners go. With that lead, so I'm very surprised they went that way. The left. Center and Slater had a bit of a problem with it, but he makes the catch. Betts will tag and score. Two nothing Dodgers. RBI and the sacrifice fly by Cole Deals. That's going to get down and off the wall. Turner scores and into second with a two out. Uh oh, AJ's caught. And A.J. awkwardly lost in Slater. Evan Longoria will back clean up. Buster Posey behind the plate. Three plus. So he takes the mound. Hasn't thrown a pitch. That's 16 mark tonight. And takes care of Darren Ruff on three pitches. And a ground ball backhanded by Turner. Bounces it to first. And the serenade strikeout. Somebody pulled the plug on the jukebox. Can guarantee it. Right center. Milky Betts will play it on a couple of hops, and Bryant goes first to third. The ball. Bryant will score. Longoria on the run. Betts throwing the ball in. And Longoria will hold it third base. Belt strikes out. Giants get one on three hits. They lead. Enter. And on comes Slater to make the catch. The wind was going is to watch the rappers. Ball four. Well, he lays it down nicely. And this will be his eighth successful sacrifice bunt of the season. He handled it. And there's a hot shot down to short, picked up by Dubon. And he throws him out. Placements on the mound. Ground ball toward third, one handed by Turner. And there's the out. Stroud going to ruin my side. He's got it. And he makes the grab. For like 12 years, you might get a half a dozen. <laughs> and Julio makes quick work of him as expected. Strikes him out on three. And he strikes out for the second time tonight. League resumes, big league star. Stubon into left field. All right. There he goes. And Justin swings and strikes out. Throw down. And there it is. The strike him out, throw him out. That was enough. Yes, he went. Says home plate umpire. And Randazzo and some things, but he's been very headed to the corner. And Slater is going to round first and go to second. Retrieved by Chris Taylor. Chance for Muncie, and he makes the catch. Oh, what a play by Max Muncie. 53 appearances. He's four and two. Left handed hitting Corey Seeger. First ball swinging, rolls it to Belt, one out. First inning went in rather awkwardly. Bastrada, he's got a battle to win. Everything. <laughs> There's Estrada. Calls it in. Three very quick outs and Albert the middle. And a base hit for Posey's. Two. Gets turned around. Recovers to make the catch. And back to first base. Cloth bottoms it on. Right at Bellinger for the out. Two down. So that's what you see underneath. They're courting you. And grounds it down the left field line. And Dubon pulls into second with a two out double. And the Giants have the tying run in scoring position. Payoff pitch. Seeger calling off Turner. And Julio gets out of it. So expect to see him again tomorrow night. And a man goes down to first as Will Smith can hustle with that ball rolling around. 
He lays that one down nicely. Belt thought about second. And the second. Oh, foul tip, strikeout. Extended the game, and then Max got to win it with the last swing, and he strikes out here for the third time. Yeah. Payoff pitch, got him swinging. Velocity at all. Of Turner, and Bryant's aboard. High fastball pitcher owning the top of the zone. Tapper to the right side, long way to go for Turner. Backhand flip in time to get him. And now he's seen three and three. Seeger takes care of business. Okie Betts leads off against the left field. Right there, you see the defense. And they go into action here. Backhand stab by Dubai, throws it away. Air mailed up into the seats. Arlene Garcia gave him two and two thirds innings. Outside three and one. Did he declare is what Hamry's saying? It's a balk. And Turner's going to score on the balk. And then the cross up got him to third. And here's a ground ball to Belt. Underhand toss Quintana. He's got it for the out. Put the game into extra innings. Down on strikes and a breaking ball. On a base hit and Posey. He's really figured out Julio. He's been the real only. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Got him. It's your mechanics. It wasn't <laughs> that much fun to go to. A swinging bunt. Smith goes to first in time to get Estrada. Former Marlin. One, two. Got him. He went up the ladder again. And just underneath the attic, he swung in foul tips. His 17th appearance of the season. A strike three. Call a little elevated up at the top of the zone. Base hit on a one two pitch out on strikes is McKinney. Two down, we're in center, and the Dodgers 48th time Phil's come out of the bullpen and he is plunked. They're looking up into the San Francisco sky, makes the catch right there. He got him looking. ERA is good, 0 0.49. In the third innings. Aaron Ruff is there. One pitch and one out of the Dodger eighth. Easy That's, for us to see. Yeah, right. <laughs> Down to third base, Longoria. Tony's that is a staple. Center field, and Lamont Wade tracks it down. Boy, he went a long I uh, Got him. Slider, strike three. And the game more when he got to come back. And it goes to right field. Mookie bets. Ground ball to first. Easy play for Max. Takes care of business. And it's a one. Walker Bueller hit a home run in St. Louis, though. Over his 37th run. Gets a hanging curveball. And he hits it deep to center field. Going back. Bryant. It's gone. A home run. Corey Seager makes it 5-1. to one. Eighth home run of the year for Seeger. Walked it. So Bellinger aboard with nobody out. In the second game. 3-0. That's through the wickets of Longoria. A bounding ball to the left side. Dubon to Estrada. Safe at first is Smith. Curve is Lamont Wade. And he makes the catch. Bellinger. Is going to come home. And it's 60. Way inside. Hit him. He got him. Ball four. And the bases are full of Dodgers. Wade will take care of it. And the Dodgers will leave him loaded. But they do get a pair of 25th appearance for Bruce Dark. 3 0. Does not throw it from a farther distance than a lot of guys. One down, two to get here in the bottom of the ninth. We're going to get him a lot of eyeballs. Little bounce to Justin Turner. Two down. They weren't going to be able to make up any. It is back and it is going to bounce over the wall for a double. One two pitch. 
Broken bat roller to the right side. Turner handles it. On to Muncie, and the Dodgers tie the Giants. Trey, last night, the game did not end how you guys would have wanted to, but you took accountability for it. What can you say about how you turned the page today, really came out and opened the game with a home run? Yeah, you got to move on, you know, good or bad. Uh, you know, yesterday doesn't matter. All that matters is your next... Uh, Next at bat, next play, you know, next game. So um, it is what it is. I'm going to make mistakes and I'm going to have success. But uh, move on, try to be consistent and uh, enjoy it. Have fun. And they say sometimes it just takes one swing to get the offense going. Tonight, I'd say it was your swing. How did you see your teammates take better at bats and get the results you guys wanted tonight? Yeah, I thought we were, we were much better. You know, for me, it's just take what they give you. And I felt like, you know, we worked the counts better tonight and, um, you know, got our, our free bases on the walks and whatnot. And, uh, and then when we need to, we got the big hits. And, um, you know, it was a good team effort all the way up and down. And last night, Corey Seager was four for five. Tonight, had a sack fly and a home run. How has he impressed you offensively in this series? Well, he's impressed me for, you know, five, six, seven years now. You know, uh, watching him from afar, I knew he was really good. And now getting a chance to just, you know, watch him play every day and every at bat, it's, uh, it's special. And, you know, he's going to get going really, really, really well for us, I think. And, uh, you know, you saw it yesterday, saw it today. And uh, I think it's just the beginning. Now, I know you see all of this Dodger blue everywhere. How has your first taste been of the Giants-Dodgers rivalry? Yeah, it feels like playoffs. Um, you know, I've played in many a playoff games, and, uh, you know, I feel like the last two days were about as close as you can get to playoffs, and, um, you know, that's what we play for. That's uh, when it's fun is when these fans get, get behind us, good or bad, whether they hate you or, or they're cheering for you. It's, it's fun to play in front of these fans. Well, congratulations on the win, Trey. Thank you. Very much. Yeah, Julio, you had runners in scoring position in five of your six innings. How were you able to get out of those and just allow the one run? No, tratar de hacer los picheos, obviamente, eh, correctos y seguir el plan. Obviamente, sé que, que pusieron muy buenos turnos al bate ellos. Trataron de hacer contacto, simplemente eh, poner la bola en juego, era lo que trataban de hacer y. Y lo lograron, pienso que lo lograron. Obviamente, después de ahí vine con, con los buenos lanzamientos y pienso que fue parte de, del buen trabajo que hicimos eh, con mi compañero Will. Yeah, just try to focus on, on making the good pitches, um, sticking to the game plan. Obviously, they had really good at bats in those early turns, and, and they kind of put me in those situations. But trying to mix it up and trying to change it up and trusting Will and, and putting, it, putting up that good signs down it and making the right pitches. And I have to ask you again, is it threats or bribery that gets you such run support every time out? <laughs> no, bueno, yo pienso que es una, pues una bendición. Obviamente sabemos que, que todos los juegos queremos hacer carreras y queremos ganar. Eh, obviamente este año me han apoyado bastante la ofensiva. Eh, confío bastante en ellos, igual que en el bullpen. Eh, obviamente cuando salgo del juego trato de de poner obviamente todo en sus manos del bullpen y, y han hecho buen trabajo, no simplemente que todo sea, sea puesto en la página, en la misma página en el día que yo lanzo y pues salimos con la victoria, que es lo, lo que más importa. Sí, es una bendición, ¿sabes? Es una bendición tener una ofensiva como la que tenemos, para poder poner los runs que ellos han puesto, especialmente cuando estoy en el mundo, pero obviamente solo confiando en ellos, confiando en lo que pueden hacer en cualquier noche, y luego también solo viviendo en las manos del bullpen para poder terminar el trabajo para mí. Y gracias. Gracias, Kirsten Watson, go up. Hey Julio, you had no walks today. What can you say and what allowed you to attack the strike zone so well? No, sabemos que obviamente es un buen equipo, no es un tremendo equipo. Están pasando por un buen momento y, y obviamente tratar de, de evitar las bases por bola porque pues sabemos que que todos los bateadores son buenos, no y, y, y obviamente cuando le haces esa ventaja a ellos con bases por bola pues se ponen más más selectivos con los picheos y, y obviamente tratar de atacar a los bateadores simplemente es lo que lo que traté de hacer el día de hoy. Yeah, you know, they're a very good team, very good batters on that side and you don't want to give them badges like giving them base for balls and giving them a chance to kind of put a, put those rallies together with with those base on balls. So just trying to attack the zone, trying to get ahead, trying to do what I can to not get behind like and just essentially just attack the zone. Hey, Dave, with A.J. Pollock, obviously it was really tough to see him come out of the game limping off the field and then to hear that he has a hamstring strain. What does um, it look like? What's next for him? And how long do you think he could be down? Um, I don't want to speculate. I, I know that it wasn't good. Uh, obviously, it's, it's a huge loss in any capacity. Uh, from what I'm hearing uh, early on, it's a great two strain. Um, so you know, sort of where we're at, 
this is a couple of two, three weeks uh, at, bare, at the minimum. Uh, so we just got to, uh, you know, see where he feels tomorrow. But again, I mean, I, I think at the minimum, it's going to be a couple of weeks. And what can you say just about the offense tonight and how the team is really able to turn things around and start the bats really hot early? Well, I, I think that, you know, getting off to a good start, obviously the homer by Trey and tacking on a couple more runs. And um, I thought, you know, AJ coming out of the game and losing him took a little bit of wind out of our sail. Um, but to tack on runs late, uh, certainly important and allowed us to stay away from Kenley tonight. Um, after going to uh, Vesia and, and trying and um, back to back, so that was that was good to tack on. And what has stood out to you about Corey Seager's offensive performance today, tonight, but also last night when he was four for five? Uh, yeah, I mean I, he's swinging the bat well, and I think it's not even just uh, the last couple of nights. I think the last week he's swung the bat really well. Um, he's using the big part of the field, and um, when he's right, physically, mechanically. I've said it all along. He's as good as as hitter as anyone in the big leagues. And to play a premium position defensively, uh, made a couple of nice plays also that really don't show up in the box score. Um, but having him in the middle of the order is, is huge. Thank you, Dave. Yep.